Hello guys, welcome back to Energy Sapiens. Today I want to talk about some ideas concerning the future of energy. Uh, some ideas that I believe are wrong, but that are still pretty common in society. In particular, some people believe that soon enough we will have access to some form of energy that is free and unlimited. Um, so let me tell you what I think about it. First of all, let's see what happens if you Google free unlimited energy. As you could expect, a good amount of crap pops up. Same on YouTube, even though I must say some of these videos and articles are good. Anyway, from what I saw on YouTube and other medias, there are pretty much three categories of misconception behind this idea of free energy. I'll move from the most absurd to the most realistic and try to describe them. So group number one is those people who believe in the perpetual motion machine. And you can find thousands of videos describing uh, how these people made a machine that can accelerate by itself and keep going faster with no energy input of any kind. So I believe these are all fake videos and the reason is there are two laws of physics that prevent people from creating a machine of this kind. And they are the first law of thermodynamics which says basically that energy is conserved and you cannot create it out of nothing. And the second law of thermodynamics which is about entropy like many of you will know you can think about it also in another way. You can, you can think that every time a certain amount of energy undergoes a transformation, the quality of that energy is decreased, because eventually it's going to become heat at room temperature and it's going to be useless. So does this mean that it's impossible to create a perpetual motion machine? No, actually it doesn't. It's not impossible to create a perpetual motion machine, but when someone will invent a perpetual motion machine, we will have to write the equation of physics and the laws of physics all over again. And probably the guy who invents the machine is not going to post it on YouTube. You're probably going to see him on the news receiving his Nobel Prize. Now let's move to the second group. Group number two is the group of people who believe that some already existing idea will finally develop and that will be so good that energy will basically be free and unlimited afterwards. Now the best two examples of these possible ideas are fusion energy and thorium fission energy. Now I don't want to be the one to tell you, but fusion is really far from being an option. I'll tell you why. The biggest fusion reactor in the world is being built right now in France and it's called ITER. And it's going to be starting operation in 2025, but it will start producing fusion only in 2035. And anyway, it's only for experiment. It's only meant to produce more heat energy than it consumes, but it's not, it's not meant to produce energy and sell energy. And by the way, I forgot to mention that it costs 15 billion euros and many million of euros each year for operation. So it's really far from free. Actually, probably fusion will work someday in the future, but we don't know if it's ever going to be cheap enough to compete with other sources of energy. Sorry about that. Thorium instead is closer to reality. It's been used in the past and there is some research going on to create reactors that run on thorium. But let's not forget that thorium is not much different from uranium, it's still fission technology. The power plant would be different, the chain of production of the materials would be different, so it could be a little cheaper than uranium, but it's not going to be free. Uh, uranium and any nuclear te technology have the problem that the investment cost is usually pretty high. It could be an option in the future, but it's not going to be here soon enough because this technology is usually slow at developing, also because people don't like it. So it's true that if you have a piece of thorium, you can hold in your end all the energy that you need in your life. But remember that to turn this thorium fuel into energy, you need a power plant, you need a reactor, you need a lot of technology, a lot of people working on that technology. So it's not free. Oh, and this is not thorium, by the way, it's just a coin. Now, the last group, group number three, it's not actually a belief. It's more like um, the result of bad information from the media that you can find on the internet uh, or even on the TV sometimes. And it's about renewable energies. I'm one of those people who love renewable energies, and I really wish that reality was the one that we read on the catchy titles of articles on the internet. But you just can't say that sun and wind are going to be the free, unlimited source of energy that we all need it. So I understand the mistake because the source of energy, sun and wind, are actually free. 
and to a certain extent they're also unlimited meaning that there's a lot of energy out there that we're not using the point is for any technology and especially for renewable energies there's an investment cost so when you pay for electricity you're paying for that investment cost and the financial cost associated with that investment it's really well explained in this equation here it's called levelized cost of electricity but I will explain it in detail in another video. So yeah, on the other end, it is true that the investment cost of many of these technologies is decreasing, especially for PV panels, and that they're becoming more efficient. But we don't know for sure what's gonna happen, how cheap it's gonna get. And anyway, it's never gonna be actually free. And when it's not free, it's never gonna be unlimited. Now there's another group of people actually, but it kind of belongs to all of the above groups and also to none of them at the same time and it's the people who believe that some technology for free unlimited energy already exists but powerful people or entities are hiding it are preventing us from using it and so yeah we are controlled so if you're one of those people who believe this please let us know in the comments what this technology would be and how those people would be hiding it from us so we can we can have a nice conversation in the comment section so if you believed in a bright future of free energy, I'm afraid this video was a little depressing for you, so let me finish it with a positive note. If you think about it, energy today costs around 20 cents per kilowatt hour, at least in Europe as an average. It can be much cheaper than that, it can be more expensive than that, but not too much, that's the range. And if you think about the, an average European household, it would consume around 5 kilowatt hours per day of electricity. That means one euro per day for your energy bill. And with that one euro, you run all the appliances in your house for the whole day. So all the lights like this ones, the computers, the camera I'm using right now, if I'm charging it, and fridge, everything that is always on, like fridge, lights somewhere in the house, ventilation, if you have ventilation. So it's not that expensive, but you have, uh, I would say, so it's not that expensive, I would say it's actually pretty cheap. And if you make a comparison to to produce 5 kilowatt hours of energy in one day, you need at least 4 people working 16 hours a day doing the stuff that your machines do for you. So 1 euro per day is not even enough to feed one person for one meal. And this means that if you want to make a strange comparison, electricity today is cheaper than slavery. So it's not free for us, but if somebody from maybe 2000 years ago could time travel and come visit us, it would probably believe that we have pretty much free energy. And by the way, I'm not saying that's a good thing, it's, it is a good thing obviously for economy, but on the other end, it's one of the reasons why new technology like renewables and clean technologies are struggling to compete with traditional fossil fuel energy. So thanks for watching this video, and I want to finish by saying that what I said so far is actually not exactly true because free energy does exist. In fact, you can experience free energy every time you lay in the sun, every time you feel the wind blowing through your hair, every time you jump in the ocean and let the waves move you, and even when you look at a beautiful landscape, you're not paying for the photons hitting your retina. So, that's free energy. So whenever you feel like you deserve some free energy, just go for a walk and I'm sure you will find some free energy out there. Thanks for watching again.